Hey everyone, I'm Lexi. I'm a part-time reseller and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're gonna do a quick thrift with me. Alright you guys, so I have a practice. I am a assistant coach at a local high school and I practice um, for softball in about an hour and I'm about 20 or 30 minutes away from where practice is so I just pulled up to Goodwill and that means I have about 30 minutes to see what I can find um, this is not my like super local Goodwill this is a Goodwill that I come to mainly on sell days but since it's close to where the high school is I decided to go ahead and stop in and see if we can find anything so this will be a real quick trip um, and we have to really watch the time so let's see what we can find all right guys unfortunately there is music at this Goodwill so we're gonna have to do a voiceover started out in the dresses and right away I found this nasty gal new with tags I've sold nasty gal once before decided to go ahead and try this new with tag dress it was really cute and then I love the dresses at this place because of where they're hanging. They're so much easier to look through versus my personal Goodwill that I go to more often. So I always hit the dresses up first. There wasn't a whole lot today. Most of it was just the common brands that you find at the thrift stores. Lots of Old Navy, um, Universal Threads, and then all of the small boutique brands. There's a Knox Rose. Then in the jackets, I found this cache leather, wool, and rabbit fur jacket. They had it marked up to $10. It was missing the belt, and it was a very small size, so I actually left this behind. But then I saw this fossil coat. It was wool blend, and this plaid was just to die for. I absolutely loved this plaid. Um, they did have it marked up to $15, but comps kind of all over the place but there were definitely some comps for 50 60 and up so I decided to try it so when you only have a short amount of time obviously you need to pick out your favorite places and that's where you thrift so here I said dresses already my next one is the sweaters I like sweaters because usually you can find some higher end items and they sell for a little bit more because there's more like substance to them rather than just tops didn't find anything today but it was still good to look through. You never know when that one piece is going to be there. So then I always check out shoes here because shoes are not individually priced. They are two for eight, I think, um, which is super cheap compared to my own Goodwill. So I always give a good look through. Honestly, I think they ship the good shoes elsewhere because I've never found great shoes here. And what are the odds that you just would never find any? <laughs> um, some of these looked pretty interesting, but most of them were lower end brands as usual that is Libby Edelman which is like the lower end of Sam Edelman I found these torrid ones which I totally would have picked up if they were in better condition there was just too much going on on that foot on the toe um, I like to pick up torrid shoes because they're usually in big sizes and usually in wide but yeah they were dirty so I ended up leaving them Surprisingly, I usually go through their skirt section just because it's so nicely organized. I skipped it today, but I did check this vintage one. I thought it was super cute. Ended up leaving it behind thinking it might be a little too quirky. Here's how all of their tops are, and they have so many. So today was just not the day to even look in that direction. Um, I checked out the jeans. These were American Eagle, but the skinny jeans are out right now, so I decided not to. Maybe if it was $2.50 day, I would have picked them up. I found several of the democracy jeans, which I have done well with in the past, but it was that whole like, I'm in a hurry, do I want to look up comps on this, do I want to risk it, it's full price, all that kind of stuff. Had it been $2.50 day, I probably would have picked up all three pairs that I saw, but since it wasn't, and I'm being a little particular, I decided to keep looking. Um, nothing really special, and then I did find these current Elliott jeans, and I got really excited current Elliot used to be like a solid seller and I would never find it um these were the cropped boot cut well worn I think looked up comps and they were actually terrible so I just ended up leaving those behind which kind of shocked me but that's what happens with brands 
then these Victoria's Secret Sport leggings were so cute. They were a great size XL, but I was too afraid of the white to even try them at full price, so I left them. Oh, and then you're about to see me get super happy. Gymshark! Yay! Um, I'd only ever found Gymshark once before, so I was so pumped. And then I started looking at them, and that area right there was so stretched out and worn, there was actually holes in it. <laughs> watch you'll see you can see my finger poking through so sad so those definitely stayed um and then I decided to just check through the vest just because I have found some really cute vintage ones at this particular store and there was a lot so I looked through it BKE is a brand that a lot of people pick up I've never tried so I can't really speak on it I probably should just try one time um and then this is a great lesson because you never know where things are there was these three active wear tops so I looked at him. I couldn't find the tag on this one. And then finally, I think that's champion, right? The nine. And then this one, I couldn't find the tag on and it felt really nice. And guess what? There it is. Lululemon. And then right behind it, I picked up this. So cottage core. Loved it. Can't wait to get that listed. The last um, vest that was similar to that in like cottage core style sold within 24 hours. So we'll see how that one does for me. Then I decided to do a quick like touch through of all of the tank tops to see if there were any more Lulu in there. Um, that's why it's really important to know your fabrics. I didn't look at the tags of all of this. I just felt and kind of glanced a little bit and it was a way for me to get through a lot in a short amount of time to see if I could find any more Lululemon. Then I went and peeked at the kids stuff um, I always go through the overalls and these vintage Mickey Mouse and Winnie the Pooh ones were too cute to pass up. The shirt with the Mickey one is actually not the right shirt, so I'm just going to sell the overalls, but this one is a complete set. So here's a tip for t-shirts. If you don't have time to look through all of them, if you give a quick glance at the sleeves, you can find single stitch versus double stitch, which means that it's vintage. This was just like an old school shirt, so I ended up staying, but that's a quick, easy tip if you're in a hurry. All right, guys, so super shocking. I definitely was in there longer than I should have been. Um, and I'm definitely probably going to be running late, but that's okay. I did find some good stuff. It, it was one of those kind of trips where, like, I really wanted to keep looking. I really wanted to go hanger by hanger because I was by myself and everything. But, you know, sometimes it just doesn't pan out like that. And, uh, and you're in a rush. And so, that, and, like, that store, I really like how they have everything categorized and it's easy to like look so I really wanted to look at more of the clothing um, sections and stuff but I didn't have the time and I pushed it <laughs> then I, I probably should have because there's a couple times I like, looked things up and usually when I'm in a time crunch I don't look things up if I have a question about an item I just leave it and so I probably wasted a little bit of time doing that. All right, so I spent a total of $36 and I actually showed you everything I got. So I'm not going to do a haul um, for this trip. I think, you know, I think you got some good stuff. I got a little bit of vintage. I got a Lululemon tank, which is always great. Dress is new with tag from Nasty Gal. I didn't look it up, but I have sold Nasty Gal before that wasn't new with tag and it sold pretty quickly. So we're going to try that out. There was a lot a lot of pieces that I definitely would have picked up if it had been a sell day and so now I'm just itching for a $2.50 sell day like they need like it's time I don't even know if we had one in the month of January yet I'm going to have to be like have my eye out this week to see if they're gonna have one pretty soon they um, they advertise their sales on Facebook so that's the only way that you can find out unless you actually go in stores Sometimes they'll have flyers, but usually you can only see it on Facebook and they only let you know like the day before or two days before. So you really have to be, you really have to pay attention. There's been plenty of times where I've found out the day of or the day after and I have been so upset. So anyway, I do know that if a $2.50 sale day comes up, I'm at least going to go to that store if I can't make it to any other ones because there was a lot a lot especially in the dresses because the dresses are $6.99 and the difference between $6.99 and $2.50 is huge as you know so fun quick little trip now I'm going to go coach some softball thank y'all so much for watching please give me a thumbs up comment um, if there was anything that you saw I should have picked up or if there's anything I picked up that you wouldn't have just let me know I 
I like to hear everyone else's opinion about it. So anyway, subscribe if you haven't. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.